the witching well. There it is. Head and torso separated. Does look exactly like snow though, down to the clothes. Is snow wearing that pin? Wow. No. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. You gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. Okay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Okay, so yeah, I noticed the pin first thing. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Okay. Maybe well. it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No. Symbols is it? There's really only one. Alright, well. Let's look at the head. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon uh, in there. Like before. I, I doubt it. Shit, Snow doesn't wear a ribbon on like Faith. Nothing. Yeah. The ribbon I'm pretty sure the ribbon Can was like a spite thing. Close her mouth. Specific to Faith Faith, pardon me. Thanks. Mm. Looks just like Faith's did. But there Relatively was nothing in her cut. mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? I no. think so. He said he wanted to. Oh, there's someone with equivalent training. Let's examine that mark. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. <laughs> yeah, that never hurts. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. What's this arrow? Oh, down the body, okay. Well, ankle. Oh, track marks. Track marks. Got ourselves a little druggy. Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. One would think, well, the brooch we think is a personal thing. Else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? Possibly. That's it's actually not a... technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. Oh. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good well, match. why? I mean, if they're so expensive. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Okay, well first of all, I'd like to look at this. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would Is there anything special about this, or oh. just... Oh no, we're just making Buffkin aware of it. Alright, well, your fist is clumped up. You're holding something. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Okay. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Uh, I need to know. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Oh crap, I didn't realize this was a quick time event. Jesus, there we go. Me. What is it? Flowers. Flowers. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well. Oh, I have lilac petals now. That's nice. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder. 
What? Snow, do you mind if I... Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably the most delicate way to do that. Bigby, just let me do it. Fair enough. Fair enough. We're making progress. Let's see what else we can find. I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What was she gonna say? Come what on. We found out. Come on. She was using Monday drugs. Pretty that is probably too, pretty relevant. Judging by the track marks on her legs. Track marks? Isn't there... There are diseases. I don't think she has to worry about that now. No. No, of course not. I wonder if they ever go into exactly what happened to the homelands. Okay, I've got, I've got to know this. Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Okay. Hey! What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Who knows she uses that? Buffkin Ichabod. I feel like Ichabod might be in on it. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You worry too much, Crane. Let's see what it is. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I can think of a way. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Let's see. Try and match up that tree branch. There we go. Okay, let's get to the deer. Because the deer I'll actually be able to work with. Okay. I don't know how many turns there are, so I'm just going to do three. To, well, let's see how many turns that we're up. It was one turn up for each. Oh my gosh. Deer. All right, well. What does that mean? Oh. Snow's hair, picture of snow. Is that it's your hair? Oh. Okay, so once again, someone very close to her had to have been used to get that picture. Maybe not, though. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. Okay, yeah, very close I to her. Noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. Who's Rose? My sister and I don't oh. talk much anymore. Thank you for the explanation. Who did this, Bigby? I, I appreciate this. Hello. She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. I think this is valid. Shit. Well, that yeah. helps explain yeah. the glamour. I feel like that's very valid, in fact. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Uh oh. Who do you think oh, she is? Oh crap. I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homeland. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. That that too. It's gotta be Holly's sister, Lily. The woodsman told me about her. Yeah, right. he did. She was reported missing, but I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have well, to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She and Lily's a prostitute. Oh my god. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly Someone wanted control. to nail snow. Wow. 
We should go. I mean, it's not you a bad business, but... Why not? Wow. It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. Yeah, There's I've no learned to not try and stand in her way. I'm gonna stop her. So... But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Hey, about you can be mad at me all you want. You're one of two people who's very close to snow, and I'm suspicious of people who who are close to snow right now. All right. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Probably gonna edit that smoother than I made it. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. <laughs> yeah, Grendel's not a. Uh... Yep. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White. I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. I don't like you. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? I do not like Jack. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. Is that true, love? Yes, it's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman? who you know had nothing to do with these murders. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. I'm really Jack concerned fucking nerve. killing you. What happened? What happened? I hate you I'm so tired much. Is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick I'm and not tired bother of trouble. Her. I don't want And she's not anyone. wrong. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And she's don't... Bren's sister. Holly's yes, I'm sister. working on it. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about I'll it from anyone. I'll let you talk. I'll Actually, let you talk. have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Well, that sucks. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? Grant, calm down. If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Just trying to be nice. This is a very sad moment. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. That's that's not fair. Come on, Holly. I 
understand, though. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. Mm -hmm. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Okay. I like this. This time I go into the trip trap and I don't slap someone on the head with a, uh, a glass. And I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that a lot. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. She was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Did she ask this question? Friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Need to doing, get information. Why she'd be a target? Wider net. I don't know about her friends. Crap. She hung around where she worked mostly. She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Okay, that's information. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. New suspect. Holly, it, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Fees? What kind of fees? Sounds like one of those old company store kinds of ploys. Designed to entrap people by keeping them in debt. Oh, uh, okay. We can probably learn more at the club. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> really? Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there? Yeah. Um, just, just be nice. She just lost a sister. No, no. I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of, it, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know, some old world shit will okay. fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the We're necessary We're gonna give Holly the body. She right. lost a sister. I'm not gonna get in the way of this. I've already examined the body. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. I'm, I'm really trying to be a good person. Really? Thanks. It just made everything easier. Yay! I say as I look at the holes that I put in her wall. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. What a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. Who are you? You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I'm gonna be quiet. Yes, of course. You'd better talk to Georgie. I like that. You're a smart You're girl. Luck. He's here. Come on. Let people make their own... Draw I their own conclusions. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Yeah. I'm liking this. Being deceptive without being deceptive. Oh. So who's this Georgie? Well, 
Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination I'm is the menu. Keep quiet again. And discretion is our guarantee. Pick up information. I don't want to piss anyone off. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Uh. Good luck. That's your job. You want them to feel happy. Alright, so I'm gonna try and do my you best want here. Them to think you feel happy. You want them to forget about your show, doesn't know Just gonna look at them, see what happens. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there, sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. I think I'm gonna try and edit a blur in. <laughs> I'm gonna try. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? You don't know me. You don't know me. Okay, mysterious lone wolf. <sighs> right, I got you. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. I hope enough of this doesn't have boobs in it, or okay, I can edit them well right, enough Sheriff, just that we can actually you. get a decent Look, I know why you're here. scene here, so you guys don't miss this. Who told you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially Who are you? My livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily Wait, was glamour. Wait, it says kiss the girl a kit. She was a on troll. his chest. No, I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. Well, try silence. Is this some great strategy to get me to incriminate myself? All right, well, Brilliant. that didn't work. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? Oh, hey, if you say so. Just looks like hair to me. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. Mm. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Naturally. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Oh, you anyway, just wanted to get punched. To do with me. We're gonna do this. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh no, fuck! Bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? You did Fuck's it. Sake. Fuck off, Hans. Oh, Hansel and Gretel. Wait, where's Gretel? Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. No, you get it. It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes. Why not look it up? 
What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, You're Hans, a liar. we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. I like intimidation. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. You say that, story. but I don't believe you. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh, look at that. Fancy that. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We no, you're guilty. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Um. Then quit being a bloody idiot. <sighs> Alright, next time I'm gonna break something. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. Yep. a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Oh, look at that. Oh, gee, come on, man. Look at that key that magically appeared. Man, wouldn't it have been nice if you had just, you know, done that from the start? Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Have fun with that. Hello? Business office. Cubby. Lily's cubby is empty. Okay, not sure what that says. Cubby. Oh, it's the same one. Still empty. Looking at it again, like a boss. Faith. Mm hmm. Well, that's not a surprise. She's got her jewelry box, which is open. broken because she's dead. Mm -hmm. Makeup case, also busted open. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. So an idiot. 
faith. Thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Ah, the woodsman wanted that. Jibes with what the woodsman Get a little tap tap on the Snow White. Hmm. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Yeah. Looks like a thing. Faith. Yeah. Well, nothing else really in there. Excuse me. I heard Her clothes are back on. Yay! I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. Yes. She's got a ribbon just like Faith. Just like Faith. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. No. Once upon a time. Does that help? What are you doing here? Same as anyone. It's a place where I am. Man. Where else am I supposed to be? The world's gone downhill. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Uh, Mr. Smith. I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. I'm disappointed. I hoped you'd be helpful. Little Mermaid. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. I didn't mean to scare her. Uh. Sheriff Wolf. Would you like to make an appointment with me? I get what she's saying. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Uh. Okay. Oh, I... Wait here for a second. Mm, not two oh seven. You'll think of something. Open mm. arms. Mm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. I had to play a little bit hardball, but she she came around. <laughs> 